Hi, Micro Hunter here again. Today I want to talk again a little bit about uh, cover glasses um, and uh, specifically I want to do a little experiment today. Um, I want to now investigate, oops, no I broke it. <laughs> today I want to investigate um, the effect of cover glass thickness on the image quality. First of all, cover glasses uh, have uh, can have a profound impact uh, on the image quality. As a matter of fact, uh, it's, uh, the cover glass thickness is so important uh, that uh, there's even a number printed on many microscope objectives, usually the number is 0.17, and this refers uh, to the optimal cover glass thickness, so 0.17 millimeters. Um, there are uh, some cover glasses that do not have this printed on, uh, for example, the four times magnifying objectives, often they don't have that. The reason is, is uh, that the cover glass thickness does really not doesn't make a quality difference um, for those objectives. And also the very high power magnifying uh, 100 times oil immersion objective, they also often don't have this printed on it because um, the effect of the cover glass becomes irrelevant when you put a drop of oil on, on the cover glass. Okay, And often it's also like this that you do not even need a cover glass when you, you work with an oil immersion objective because uh, generally you have the cells baked uh, on the slide here's a slide yeah the cells are baked uh, to the slide using heat, heat fixing and then you put directly the drop of oil on it so you won't use a cover glass in any, any uh, anyway um, so and today what I want to do is, is the following I want to use my 40 times um, objective and I'm going to look at a few specimens um, and I want uh, to um, have a different uh, number of cover glasses on it uh, first uh, simply the permanent mount with one uh, cover glass then I want to also put a cover glass um, on uh, two cover glasses on it that were stuck together using a little bit of water so it kind of acts like one thick cover glass and then um, I'm also going to um, place uh, two cover glasses on top of it uh, where there is air in between so without any water and we're gonna explore and compare now a little bit how the image quality is like and uh, we're I'm gonna show yeah I just want to show, show this to you so I'll be uh, taking three pictures. Uh, the first one is just the permanent mount, which already has only one cover glass. Then I'll be adding uh, two cover glasses stuck together uh, by water. Um, and uh, this is almost like using one very thick uh, cover glass. And I always rotate the 40 times magnifying objective in place. And to exchange uh, the cover glass, I rotate it back uh, the four times uh, objective and then I exchange it. Um, and uh, the last picture that I'm going to be taking um, is where I add two cover glasses and they are now separated by air and then we're gonna see if this has an impact on image quality as well and I'm going to show you now different specimens and in every case I opened uh, the condenser um, to allow for maximum resolution and this of course also lowers the contrast a little bit so that is the original now uh, with only one cover glass the original um, permanent mount then here the one with uh, two cover glasses together uh, with water and we already see that there is a notable decrease in image quality and it gets a little bit worse even uh, when there is air between the two cover glasses and we can see a similar pattern also in the other specimens that I'm going to show you um, this is again the original again it does look a little bit low in contrast because I opened the condenser and I did not use any image in editing software to increase the contrast and look at this significantly worse here um, and uh, again much worse uh, when there is air between uh, the two cover glasses not much worse but a little bit worse um, and uh, this shows that cover glass thickness is indeed very important especially if you're using high uh, magnification yeah and the story of course uh, repeats here as well the original look at the contrast specifically and uh, when we're increasing the cover glass thickness the image quality deteriorates as well and uh, when you have a deteriorating image quality also the contrast goes a little bit lower and I think this is because the colors kind of intermix um, a little bit more and uh, here this one already looks a little bit uh, much uh, more like there's a white veil um, over the whole image now the last uh, uh, example is a little bit interesting in the sense that I did not see such a big decrease in image quality it's also a dandelion here um, and uh, what I think the reason could be is, is that uh, a lot depends on the original 
image as specimen on, on whether um, the original image has already a high contrast or not. Um, so in order to uh, figure this out, I think one should have used standardized specimens. Often diatoms are used um, to determine the resolution. And I think that's also something that I could do in the future. Yeah, I think uh, that's enough for today again. I hope it was again interesting for you to leave, to, to leave your comments behind. Um, also do consider subscribing. I do have a web, web shop as you probably already know the link is below. I also have another YouTube channel one where I'm exploring the environment uh, using a microscope. I also have got the link below and I have a third YouTube channel, a very new one out of the making of this film where I'm going to talk a little bit about more about microbiology related issues and topics. Um, do check out that one as well as of the making of this film there are not a lot of videos on it yet but if you're interested do subscribe to this as well i wish you all the all the best happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye